Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to run a couple of reports in Cumulative uh, so that you can see uh, students that have missing assignments, students, uh, all students' grades, and, and those things make it easier for you to, to get around. So to get to reports, I'm going to go over to the menu and uh, I could go down to reports and see a list of all the different reports there, but that can sometimes get overwhelming. So instead, I'm going to go to gradebooks as I'm looking at gradebook specific reports. And underneath here, I have some options. So the assignment master is where you can get the most granular details for your gradebook uh, outside of just exporting, which I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit. Missing assignment is just going to give you a list of all missing assignments for students. Uh, so that's an easy one to print off there. And then progress report will actually print off an individual progress report for each student. And so if you're wanting to hand those out, this would be what you want to give to that. The student progress report by class, um, in my opinion, isn't a super powerful uh, report because it's the same thing as a progress report, but it clumps it together without nearly as much data. So I feel like I can get more out of the assignment master or the progress report than I can the student progress report. So let's get started with the Assignment Master. Now what's different from our old gradebook system is um, the reports aren't necessarily predefined, so you can customize what you want in there. So I pulled it up and you can see I've already been playing around with it. Um, so let me kind of walk through. So the first thing you'll need to select is your grading period. So if you have semester courses, you need to make sure you select the quarter and then the semester that the quarter's in. If it's a year-long class, you need to select quarter for the year-long section. Uh, if you don't click the correct one, for example, I'm going to click semester one, when I come down here to select my classes by hitting the magnify glass, it'll be empty because I have no one semester first quarter classes. So instead, I need to search and I need to click first quarter by year. Okay, And then I can come in and select my classes. I have a bunch of sections, so I'm just going to hit select all. And then I'm going to go down here and get rid of this one that's no data. Okay, the next I can select category. So if I wanted to show only test grades or only day gra daily grades, I could do there or leave it blank for all. And then I could even pull for specific assignments if I wanted to, which I'm not going to do that because I want to see all assignments. Then the next four boxes uh, are important. So first, yes, you do want to print the student assignments. Otherwise, it's just going to print an overall uh, category grade. Uh, if you want to see all your students and not just the students with missing assignments, make sure you select this as no. Uh, if you want to print only assignments that are missing, so if you're just looking to see, okay, which which one of these assignments have at least one missing grade put in, or one grade that's a missing, you can leave that yes. If you want to see all the grades, you put no. And then finally, if you want to see their actual average, uh, you want to put yes for that. Then you can sort, choose how you want to sort the students, and then down here, how it actually sorts it from there. So uh, I have it set by period as opposed to class code. So if I do class code, I'll have, you know, 30-something sections there. But if I do it by period, I'll have my first period, second period, so on. And then uh, your sort, uh, sort here, you probably want to do by due date because that's going to be the one that is... Um, how you, you have it set up in your grade book. But you could have it set up so it's by assignment in alphabetical order or by category. So once you have it, you click Run Report, and it'll pull up the report, and you can see I have uh, all my students here, and it's going to be by, you can see here, Checkpoint 1, that's my first assignment, and then second assignment, third assignment, so on, and I can see what they scored. And then across the top, I can switch between sections here and see, okay, class, uh, or sorry, still going through the, those second period, and so on. Okay, if I want to print this, I can come over on the right side and select print, or I can go ahead and download it or send it to an CSV, uh, or I can save it so I can go back and get it later on from the print queue. Okay, so the next type of gradebook report uh, that I want to show you is the progress report. This is something you would actually hand out to students. So if I go to Menu, Gradebook, Progress Report, loads up a window uh, where I can select the courses I want and then what information I want here. So I'm going to uh, so go ahead and select all my sections. So I'll go back and do that again. You can see I have them all selected. Uh, and I'll even add that teacher age in there. And then I have whether or not I want to include dropped assignments. No, because if I didn't count, it doesn't need to be in there. 
And then do I want to include no account assignments? Again, no. If it doesn't count against them, I'm not sure I really need that in there. And then here you can uh, set the range of student names. So you can see I have it set to AAA, ZZZ, so it gets all my students. And then I need to select grading period. And so I want to do first quarter. So here you can select your category, whether you want to show daily grade, test grade, or both. And then down here, if you want to hide student assignments. So if I select yes on this, it's only going to show their daily average, their test average, and overall. But if I have it selected as no, like I do now, then it's going to show each individual assignment. So once I have it set up, I'm going to click Run Report and pull up, and I'll get a printout for each student. And I will tell you, they don't do a great job of maximizing space on the, the page. So each one of these reports uh, right now is going to be two pages per student, so front back. So you can see this first student here, I can see the assignment, you know, kind of uh, legend, and then each individual assignment and what, what's in there. Uh, and then I see the back page of it. Okay, so on and so forth. Um, so that is the the progress report view. Again, when I'm ready to print them, I can just click print and print all of them, or I can download them if I want to, so on and so forth. Okay, the last report I want to show you is actually one you can pull from GradeSheet. So I get, get this question a lot. How do I get a printout to see all of my grades at one time? So I've created a class group here that has all my students in it, and now I want to actually export all of their grades with all the comments and everything in it. So I'm going to come over here to the right side and click on More, and then do Export. And it's going to pull it up as a Excel file. So if I open up the file, you can see it opens up here, and I have uh, all the information for them. So I have you know, student name, all that good stuff, uh, ID number, I can see their first quarter grade, the different assignments here, um, what they scored on it, and so on and so forth. So that that's another way that I can get that view. So I hope this helped.